Hello everyone, welcome to the Crypto. My name is Arthur. In this video, you'll know how exactly you can use TradingView in five minutes. And I'm going to show you how exactly I use my tools on TradingView. So it doesn't matter whether you're a beginner or advanced trader because this video is going to transform your trading skill into a pro trader. And without any further ado, let's get right into it. So what you are looking at right here is a trading view and the link to trading view is going to be in the description below and these are my favorite tools that i use but in this video we're going to discuss and go through each and every tool that you are looking at right here and i'm going to show you my favorite tools that i use uh, when i'm trading cryptocurrencies so so let's start by looking at right here this is your profile this is where you can change pretty much everything like settings and stuff like that right here is a pair so if you want to change uh, a pair or anything else you just simply click right there or just type on your keyboard any pair that you want to use so let's say i want to use cardano i can simply type on my keyboard cardano like this and it's going to show me um cardano pairs from different exchanges so to make it easier for you you can simply click right here at the corner and choose a pair so guys keep in mind that prices are always different depends on exchange okay for example right here price of bitcoin on binance might be different from the price of bitcoin on bybit so you have to choose a pair according to exchange for example if i'm trading on bybit and then i'm gonna have to choose this right here bitcoin to utt because this bitcoin pair is listed is listed on bybit that's why I, I have to choose bybit right here but if i'm trading on binance i'm gonna have to choose this bitcoin pair right here all right so that's the trick number one i see a lot of traders use prices from different exchanges and that's very wrong because price might be different because of volume from exchanges that's why you have to use your exchange so if you open new trading view account you're not going to have this kind of time frame um you can see that mine is different because i marked this time frame as my favorite you can simply click right here and then you can mark it as your favorite like this all right if i click like this you can see that um one hour time frame one second time frame is going to be added right there if i untick it like this you can see that it's going to go away right here okay so anyway this is the time frame that you can use uh my favorite time frame is uh five minutes uh 15 minutes and four hour time frame i mean i use five minutes for my entries and take profits and i use four time frame to decide whether i should go long or short and the difference between going long and short it means that if you go long you'll be making money when the price of bitcoin is going up and when you go short it means that you'll be making money when the price of bitcoin is going down so i use four hour time frame to determine my time my trend line as you can see right here is showing me that the price of bitcoin is going down but other than that i also use some other indicators that i'm going to mention in this video uh, at the end of this video and you guys can also take advantage of all those indicators so as i said earlier five minutes five i use five minutes for my entries and i use 15 minutes for my trend direction as well as for our time frame for my trend direction so this is a time interval you can change this time interval according to your trading strategy so you can click any time frame that you want for five minutes and it's going to show you for 45 minute time frame and this means that each and every candle right here represent for five minutes if i click one hour time frame like this it means that each and every candle right here represents one hour you see each and every candle right here represents one hour this is why uh time interval is very important right so you don't have to rely on one single time frame this is why you have to use uh multiple time frame to you know to determine opportunities and stuff like that so moving on right here we have a bar style all right so right here i can be able to change uh these candlesticks right here for example a lot of traders like using hey kanashi candles uh if i click at this you're gonna see you're gonna see notice that my candle has changed right uh when when the price of bitcoin is going down all candles turn red and when the price of bitcoin is go i is going up all candles turn uh turn green this this is why a lot of traders use high kanashi candles and stuff like that and it's really important that's why i also marked it as my favorite candlestick so um i have normal candles right here and high kanashi candles so let's turn back to our candle normal candles like this this is good so moving on right here we have indicators metrics and strategies and this is where you can actually put your indicators all right so these are my indicators and stuff like that 
but other than that you can i also have like personal indicators that i use i have heavy crypto pro and heavy crypto indicator so heavy crypto pro is an indicator that shows you when is good time to buy and when is good time to sell if i apply it on my chart right here you can see that it's going to give me buy and sell signals right now um on this chart so as you can see right here when it says buy it means that it's time to buy and when it says sell it means that it's, it's time to sell and you can see that the price of bitcoin has been going down uh once this indicator said sell and when it says buy you can see that the price of bitcoin really goes up and stuff like that so this indicator works in real time and stuff like that i'm not going to talk a lot about this indicator because i've made a several videos about this indicator so you can just check it out on this channel as well but moving on right there this is where you can pretty much add indicators and do all that good stuff for example if i want to add macd indicator i can just simply search right here macd and it's gonna come out here and i can simply click like this and add it to my chart but other than that that's the use of this tool right there so let's move on so this is where i can find indicator templates all right so if i click like this it's gonna show me a bunch of indicator templates a lot of people love using main strategy especially those institute traders my favorite one right here is volume all right so if i click volume like this it's gonna show me all this good stuff so this simply represents the volume that is coming into the market and this indicator helps you to make a final decision all right for example if a bearish volume increases right here it means that the price of bitcoin is more likely to go down and that's all it's all about all right so moving on right here you can be able to set an alert so for example if i want to set an alert for the price of bitcoin um if the price of bitcoin reaches 25k i want i want trading view to send me a notification on my phone or on my device all right so i can just type right here 25k like this all right 25,000, and create an alert right so right here right now we have created an alert and if the price of bitcoin reaches 25k uh we're gonna receive a notification on our phone telling us that our target has been hit all right so that's that's all about an alert so right here i can be able to replay so for example i want to replay from right here i want to see uh what was going on and stuff like that and then click play and then you're gonna see what was going on and stuff like that you can see the, the candles are moving and stuff like that so i'm just gonna fast forward this because we we don't have enough time for this right so you can see what was going on right there because we hit the replay button right simple to use all you have to do is to click it like this and click anywhere that you want to replay from right so you do that the same thing and click play and keep in mind that i'm using daily time frame it actually it actually take days for this to play it actually took days for this to play out but um because i fast forward right here that's why it's moving like this so moving on right here is where you can save your charts so as you can see right now um i don't have any safety charts this and this is the chart that i'm using that's why it's written and named and named but other than that i can also rename it right here i can copy and paste i can send to anyone this chart um and all that good stuff so that's that's the use of that i also want to mention about this tab right here which is called watch list so um on watch list is where you can mark all your all your favorite cryptocurrencies all right so these are all my favorite cryptocurrencies and this is my watch list so i simply click this button right here to watch all the prices of cryptocurrencies and stuff like that uh, this is percentage change within 24 hours and all that good stuff so this is the symbol this is the last price this is the change and all, the, and all that good stuff so you can see i pretty much marked all these as my favorite because i trade all these cryptocurrencies daily so i have to monitor them each and every time by the way guys if you're enjoying this kind of content make sure to subscribe and leave a like button for youtube algorithm you're helping the channel and it motivates me to create more content like this one but other than that let's move on i'm just gonna uh, cancel this and click yes so let's move on so right now we're dealing with price of bitcoin only we're not dealing with uh, uh all the shit coins and stuff like that this is called sensors and this is where you can change for example if you want a cross like this uh you can see that my mouse is going to change into cross right and this is what we this is what a lot of people use but i prefer a dot because like you know it's much better according to me but a lot of people use cross i mean cross is also fine because you can be able to point at exact point so 
uh, that's why a lot of people you like using cross so we have an arrow right here same thing it's gonna be like your mouse so uh don't get it twisted but other than that let's leave that cross because this is what a lot of people prefer so moving on right here we have uh trend line tools and this is really really important so if you're a beginner or advanced trader um i recommend that you have to know how to use all these tools so right now we have a trend line tool this is a trend line tool for example let's say this is a trend line we draw like this this is how exactly you can draw your trend line and i marked it i marked it as my favorite that's why you can also see it right here okay i can antique it right here and it's gonna go away all right so this is why i always mark these important important tools as my favorite you can actually copy this table right here and mark all these tools as your favorite so that it's going to be easier for you to use all these tools right instead of going back there and then click trend line tool and stuff like that you can simply you know come right here and choose your tool so moving on this is how exactly you can draw a trend line as you can see this is a down this is a downtrend of starting from starting from right here going down all right so the price of bitcoin has been moving inside this downtrend and stuff like that all right so this is where we saw a breakout and hit our upper level right here so other than that this this is where you can find pretty much anything all right so we have a lot of stuff going on right here we have parallel channel like this is also one of my favorites you can draw like this you know it just makes things better right you can use parallel channel to draw perfect trend lines all right so that's why i also marked it as my favorite um right here other than that we also have um horizontal line horizontal line is is a line that you can use to to mark your support and resistance for so for example this is the price of bitcoin and you can see that this is actually this is actually a strong support for the price of bitcoin the price of bitcoin has been failing to you know to break out of this um strong support right here this one is called 20, 25k or 24k support all right so that's exactly you can use these tool right here all right so moving on um you know so these are my favorite and recommend you to use so you can just you know pause and then add them to your charts so let's move on so right here we have gain and fibonacci tools all right so if you don't know how to use fibonacci retracements I, I mean this is actually a simple tool that um each and every trader should know and i hope that a lot of traders know about this tool but other, other than that i just want to explain to you what is this tool all about and how exactly you can apply it to your chart so guys with fibonacci retracement tool you simply have to click like this and then you measure from the bottom um all the way to the highest point all right so if this is if you want to go long all right so this is how exactly you measure it you measure from the bottom uh, all the way to the highest point all right so this this is how exactly you measure it and then you wait for the price of any assets or crypto and stuff like that to hit 0.618 level all right because this is actually a very very important level for the price of any assets or crypto and stuff like that because a lot of traders have noticed that this is actually a golden ratio and this is where exactly the price is more likely to find a support or resistance right so let's say if you want to go short and then you're going to have to measure from the bottom to i mean from the top to the bottom and if you want to go long you're going to have to measure from the bottom to to the top so if i if i measure like this right here you can see that the price of bitcoin respected 0 0.618 level because it's actually a golden ratio for the price of bitcoin all right so this is how exactly you can use a uh, fibonacci tool you can also take advantage of all other levels like uh, 0 0.786 and this is the last level that the price of bitcoin might respect okay so this is it about fibonacci retracement tool and this is exactly how exactly you can use it uh, on your charts and apply it to any chart so let's move on because we say that we want to make this video quick and fast and stuff like that but other than that this is only like important tool that you can use on your chart uh the fibonacci retracement tool okay so that's why i marked it as my favorite and you can also go ahead and check all other tools right here but this one is actually important one right so let's move on 
um, right here we have patterns okay so with patterns we have uh, ABCD pattern we have head and shoulder pattern we have triangle pattern but uh, head and shoulder and triangle pattern are you know are popular ones and we actually find them um, on our charts so let's assume that this is a head and shoulder pattern as you can see so we're gonna name this one a shoulder right here left shoulder right and then we're gonna go down like this and then draw a head right here right here gonna put a head like this and then draw our last shoulder right here okay and then finish our pattern okay so this head and shoulders you can see this is the left shoulder this is the head and this is a right shoulder and the price broke out right here and then it's going down so to measure a target of head and shoulders pattern you simply have to go ahead and bring this bring this tool right here called trend line and then you measure from the bottom or from the top to the bottom like this all right you measure like this and then you put right here exactly where the price um got breakout so according to this head and shoulder pattern you can see that the price right here i mean the target price should be twenty five thousand three hundred or twenty five 25,500 approximately and you can see that this actually respected um, respected level for the price of Bitcoin and Bitcoin has been has been hitting this this target uh, not once but twice right here and right here and right here a little bit and then found a bounce so this was actually like like something like a v-shape all right so that's it about a uh, head and shoulder pattern this is actually a popular one and you can also use um, something like a uh, triangle triangle pattern is also a popular one you know something like this and then you find a breakout okay right a b c d and stuff like that and then you can see where the price of, uh, got broken all right you can see the price of bitcoin got broken right here and uh this is actually like you know a uh, triangle pattern so that's it about the pattern i mean these are actually my favorite one head and shoulders and and triangle pattern and stuff like that and a lot of people a lot of traders use these two patterns so moving on right here we have forecasting and measuring tool so uh this is exactly how you use these tools all right for example uh let's say let's assume that i want to go long all right i've done my technical analysis and stuff like that so right here i want to go long i simply go ahead and click uh, long position like this and you can see that I marked it as a, as my favorite That's why you can also find it right here and um, I use it you know more often because uh, It's actually important too. So if I want to go long, I do my, I did my thing and stuff like that I go ahead and click like this and it's gonna show me two parts, right? This is actually where I'm gonna be losing money the red side and the green side is where I'm gonna be making money We have our target right here and we have our stop loss right here we have two of them right we have short position and long position a short position is going to be uh this side is going to be red and this side is going to be green meaning that we're going to be making money when the price of bitcoin is going down and we're going to be losing money when the price of bitcoin is going up and this this is one is to one risk to reward ratio all right so let's move on but this actually fixed the range of volume profile you can also use it is really really important you know uh for example i want to check where the volume is so i simply have to click like this and then do this right and it's going to show me uh where there is volume right so you can see that the price of bitcoin has been consolidating right here and this is very important level because the price of bitcoin might actually go and test right there and then continue going to the downside and this is how exactly you can check volume right so moving on right here i can check the date range uh price range as well for example i want to check the price range um of bitcoin from the bottom to the top i mean so this is it right you can see that from the bottom to the top the price of bitcoin has gone up has gone up by 10 percent so this is it this is what it's all about all right so moving on uh what else can we check about we also have dead range like this so i want to check the dead range let's put our our time frame to daily time frame because we are checking a dead range all right so to check this we're taking from let's say from 17th of august up to 23 right 
like this it's going to show us volume that has been into the market and this is this range is actually like 40 days right uh, 17th of august up to this point right here it has been 14 days or 14 bars because each and every candle right here represent one day i mean i'm only showing you like important tools that i use and that you can also take advantage of these tools and stuff like that so moving on right here we have our geometrics and shapes okay so we have a brush right here you can draw anything that you want on your charts for so for example i want to draw uh, something like this you know to draw something like this and stuff like that so this is what i can use to draw or i use this tool when i'm demonstrating on you know bitcoin videos and stuff like that that's when i use this tool so going back um right here we have highlighter you can highlight anything we have arrow maker this this is right here right also i'm sure you have seen it i'm sure you have seen me using this tool in my videos you know i i highlight and stuff like that i point all these candles important stuff important candles important peaks and all that good stuff and um we have rectangle a lot of traders use rectangle to draw support um on on crypto assets or on any pair right so it's also important too uh moving on we have all that good stuff we have path this one is simply you draw where you think the price of any pair of any currency or any stock might go and uh, and all that good stuff guys i mean these are you know you can use all these tools to draw pretty much anything okay so uh we're not gonna spend a lot of time right there moving on so right now they have added emojis i mean back there in 2017 in 2017 we didn't have emojis on our chest but right now it's fun because right now like you know you can put emojis on your chest when you see the price of bitcoin doing what it does you know what i'm saying like this this move right here you have to put this emoji you know just to remind yourself that this move was really messed up you know what i'm saying but other than that i'm not going to spend a lot of time on that this is the ruler this is the measuring tool that we use to measure and it covers pretty much like dead range and uh, and all that good stuff that we spoke about right here okay so it covers pretty much anything that we spoke about right here because with this measuring tool you can measure pretty much anything so for example i want to measure the price of bitcoin right here i want to measure the range so you can see you'd notice that it's going to give me uh it's going to give me the percentage the volume and the bars all right as i spoke earlier each and every candle right here represent or well, represent one day because we're using a daily candle right here okay so right here i have measured and it has been like 48 days and this is the percentage has gone it has gone up by 5.75 percent and this is the volume that has been um in this market okay so if i want to measure from higher point to the lowest point like this is going to be red all right so this move right here you can see that price of bitcoin uh dropped at least 16 percent within this range okay so that's it about the tool moving on right here we have a zoom i can zoom like this i can zoom i can highlight the area and then zoom okay that's how exactly you can use the zoom i can also use uh, this one right here zoom out right here we have magnet mode all right so with magnet mode is really really important you need to know this right so for example um i'll give you an example right now if i click my trend line right like this and then you know right now magnet mode is off and you can see that my sensor is free right is not uh, is not attracting to any of these candles because it's free so i can put pretty much anything right here on this chart i can draw anywhere on this chart it's not attracting to any candle but if i turn on magnet mode like this and then click right here trend line you'd notice that my mouse is going to start attracting to these candles all right so if i click like right here you can see that it's going to start attracting all right so that's how exactly you can use that tool you know it attracts to the it attracts to candles and stuff like that so moving on right here you can lock your charts let's say we draw some stuff right here we can be able to lock our charts um same thing right here 
right here i can erase anything and all that good stuff so this is it about trading view guys it's really really simple you know all you have to do is to uh you know mark these tools as your favorite and you are good to go i'm not gonna delete them i'm gonna leave them right here so that you can be able to see all right so right here we have price right here we have date uh, or range okay so if i click right here it says one day in one minute intervals all right so it's gonna give me a range of one day using one minute candlesticks all right so if i click like this you'd notice that it's gonna squeeze pretty much all one minute candles into one day interval so this is it all right you can see each and every candle right here is into one minute so this is where you can change settings you know uh i reco i recommend you not to change pretty much anything right here leave uh leave your charts at regular and stuff like that this is your time frame right now i'm in south africa right that's why it's plus two right there but you can also change um your time according to your country okay so this is where you can get help now this is where you can see streams this is where you can see notifications this is where you can see idea streams so other people can post ideas this is where you can charge um this is where this is where you can save your ideas this is where you can see calendar uh this is why this is where you can see your hot list and all that good stuff all right so you can see that trading view is really really simple so today after this video i'm going to make a special video for heavy crypto indicator that's my you know my favorite indicator as i spoke about it earlier in this video it gives me buying and selling signals all right so if you want that indicator the link is going to be in the description below as well for that indicator but other than that for those who wanted a quick video about trading view this is it um you know i just wanted to make it to make it clear and and put it out there so that people can know how to use trading view so this video is you know is for beginners as well as advanced traders and um, if you want to take your trading game to another level then i recommend you to get heavy crypto indicator so this is it my name is arthur guys i just wanted to show you how exactly you can use trading view therefore i'll see you in the video love and peace my friends